Cheryl Latham. Welcome back um, to Speak Out Now. If you see the sign behind me, it is Career Gear, Greater Houston. They are our sponsors for this month. Um, Career Gear has been so gracious to allow us to use their facility to, um, to do our podcast. Career Gear is a nonprofit here in Houston, Texas, where they suit up men for jobs. They have volunteer opportunities, donations, if you like to donate. Um, they have all those things that you can participate in. Just go to their website at careergearhouston.org. We're asking everyone who are watching today to share our site, um, to hit notification, to subscribe, comment, and thumbs up. I hope I have it right. <laughs> Did I get I got yes, it right? Got okay, it. thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So <laughs> and then also we want to mention that this is our cookbook. It's called um Purple Ribbon Cookbook. Um Speak Out has a cookbook as well. They're easy recipes, and this is one of our fun uh, fundraisers for Speak Out as well. And so if you're interested, the book is $9.99. Um, you could please um Go to our website, you can order it, and that great stuff. Now, we have two awesome people here today. We have Shaquana Hadnot. Yes. Shaquana Hadnot and Dr. Clara Peters. And so in our closing segment, we just like to do like do one word, um, um, one word and then ask everybody suggestions what they think about it how does it affect them and things like that so this is just strict open dialogue open talk for all of us as women to talk about so the first word that comes to mind to me is um, single uh, no sisterhood mm. what do you think about sisterhood oh, sisterhood the best hood to be in <laughs> The best hood to be in. I am the baby of my family, and I have three sisters. Um, I actually lost one of them. Um, she died of kidney failure about a year or two ago. Um, but my sisters, um, what can I say? They loved on me. I mean, I was spoiled from birth. They all, like, I, I tell my husband all the time, I never remember a time where I was put down right. as a child. Right. Like, mm -hmm. you know, they were always holding me. Mm -hmm. They always, you know, um, and my sister that passed away, she was always very encouraging, mm -hmm. you know, always reminding me of who I was, who I, who I am, mm -hmm. what's in me. Mm -hmm. um, so sisterhood is very important. And all the values and, and um, things that I've learned, it comes mm -hmm. from, my real right. biological mm -hmm. sisterhood. So everything that I have to offer, like I said, it comes from what was instilled in me. Right. So what they put in me is what I want to give to mm -hmm. every sister that right. I encounter. I want to love on them. Mm -hmm. I want to hold them mm -hmm. up, you know, spiritually mm -hmm. um, and, and reminding them of who they are. Right. So right. that's what sisterhood is. Awesome. Me. Awesome. Yeah. What about you? But just like she said, it's, it's what's instilling you, is, uh, especially when you're growing up in, in your, your home. And um, so family, sisterhood, of course, that is a good thing. But then away from biological, mm -hmm. sisterhood is still good, too, because it's good to know that that friend of yours right. can be right. that sister that mm -hmm. you may not can see every day. Or you know, because yeah. mm -hmm. most of us don't live where our, our family's at, like right. me. My right. family's in Louisiana. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I'm not around my siblings. So, but I found sisterhood with different women here in the right. Houston, Texas area, mm -hmm. and that is good. Now, don't try to be too and too big of a crowd of a sisterhood. Right. Yeah. yeah. Now, sisterhood to me is um, oh my God, it's <laughs> bonding. Yeah. You know, um, my sister, we talk all the time. And um, I, like you said, you're the baby. I'm the baby of the family. And remember growing up, I have, I'm mouthy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I'm mouthy. And I'm always getting in trouble or it's, it's yeah. like a fight, you yeah. know, I can't fight. Yeah. So they was like, 
Cake is getting oh beat up again, y'all. Get beat up again. Go fight for her. So I was like, y'all ain't gonna fight nothing for her. So my sisters were like my protectors. So I remember them as being my protectors of always defending me, not just from outside people, even from inside. Like, mom, leave her alone. You know, yeah. she that's our sister, leave her alone. You know, so I'm the mama. No, that's my sister. So I, I remember that, you know, that protector as well. That's my sister as well. And um, the next word is um, love. Oh. <laughs> what you love. think about love? Oh my gosh. Love is everything. Mm -hmm. Love is everything. Mm -hmm. um, and I always have to take it here, but mm -hmm. um, God is love. Yes. Mm -hmm. God is love. Mm -hmm. So um, there is nothing that love can't get through, mm -hmm. nothing that love can't get over, mm -hmm. nothing love can't get under. Mm -hmm. um, I love, oh, love. <laughs> she loves love. I do, yeah, I do love love. And when, when, you, when you experience a genuine love, yes, yes, yes. you don't want anything else. That's exactly. right. That's you don't true. want anything That's else. True. And I've experienced that genuine love. Mm -hmm. And um, I tell people all the time, um, Part of my my nonprofit came out of the love I experienced mm -hmm. from my father, mm -hmm. my earthly father. Mm -hmm. um, my, I, my, I had a two parent household. Mm -hmm. I come from a two parent household. My mom and my dad they were married for over thirty five years before they passed away. But I saw their love. Mm -hmm. um, not only did I see their love, but it was passed on to me. Mm -hmm. And um, so. All I know is love, mm -hmm. right. and um, wow. And I will say that once my dad passed away, um, part of my testimony is I don't think that I knew God in the way that I should have until my parents died. Mm -hmm. So, but I will say, in the love that they gave me, mm -hmm. it was easy for me to love. It was an easy transition right. because the way that they loved me, it was like, what, like, what could be better? But then to experience God's love, it is better. Right. It is. It is. So yes, love. Everybody, love is everything. <laughs> love is true. everything. Yes, it is. It's and like you said, God is love, mm -hmm. um, and and that's the foundation that we should build life right. every day. Mm -hmm. Is behind God and uh, he is love mm -hmm. and he loves unconditionally unconditionally and the yes the way a person can love mm -hmm. is by being close to him right. having an intimate relationship mm -hmm. with him but in order for you to love you need to love yourself right if you don't have self love mm -hmm. then you really can't love anybody else that's, that's true you can you can try. Yeah. Right. I can say the word I want yeah. to, but you can try to love. I already know. Yeah. <laughs> I already know. But you, you don't want to no. do that faith type of love. Right. Exactly. You exactly. need to be in tune with who you are That's so right. that you can right. give out real, mm -hmm. genuine love. Because, yeah. see, I can spot when someone, when someone say that they mm -hmm. love me. Uh -huh. I know if you're telling the truth or not. Yeah. And it's different factors that. Hits me not just the discerning spirit, mm -hmm. but me just looking at you. I know whether or not you genuine with your love. Right. So uh, you have to be in tune with him mm -hmm. and be in tune with you. Right. So that if you love you, then love is gonna come exactly. wherever you go. Everything you touch is gonna be all about uh, whoever you touch. It's gonna mm -hmm. all be about love. Mm -hmm. And then, and then when you know, when you have experienced divine love, real love, the people could pick that up from you. Yeah. That you are loving, that you're peaceful. That's true. You know what I'm saying? And then um, love for me is um, is joy, is just happiness. It's um, peace. Peace, yeah. joy, love, and happiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's all that wrapped up in one. You know, um, and everything's based around God when He says love. You know, because God is love. And so when you have that true divine relationship with God, that authentic yeah, that relationship yeah. with God, then you could really say, I understand love. Mm -hmm. And this is my expectation. So I'm not gonna compromise where I am to get a fake love right. or some false thing. Right. I want the real thing. And then when you're in love with God, he will let you know what is fake right. and, and what is not. not. 
Amen. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So, so I'm like, dang, Jesus. But you know what? Those, those, so those, yeah. those, yeah. those people. This is what I'm learning. Those mm -hmm. people who pretend to love you are mm -hmm. that fake love. Yeah. You have to genuinely love them. Mm -hmm. That's the only way that they're gonna come out mm -hmm. of the fake love. That's the only because way. the Word of God says that a perfect love casts mm -hmm. out fear. Right. Because yeah. um, I will say I was going through that a little while back because mm -hmm. after experiencing the love mm -hmm. on the level that my mom and my dad loved me, mm -hmm. that's why when people say nobody's gonna love you like your mom and dad, I understand that mm -hmm. now. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I do understand that, but. I've made a choice now to love people regardless of really how they, mm -hmm. like, whether they love me or, mm -hmm. or, or whether it's right. fake love, like right. you said. Mm -hmm. um, and what I have learned, just like the, the scripture says, perfect love casts out fear. Mm -hmm. And I don't have to fear them mm -hmm. faking their love for mm -hmm. me because if you genuine love them, it's nothing that they can do. They can't hurt you mm -hmm. through that fake love. And, and honestly, like I said before, love, Love is something that goes through everything. Exactly. So you just continue to love them through and through. through it all. Right. Yeah. Someone had asked me one time, someone that did something wrong. Uh huh. And they was like, Do you still love me? I said, I'm going to always love you because yeah. of who you are, because right. you're God's child, mm -hmm. number one. I said, And basically, that's it. I said, But I don't like you. Yeah. <laughs> And, and it, it could be and because I don't yeah. like you, yeah. Yeah. because I don't like you, you can't be in my space. Yeah. Right. But I'm gonna love you from yeah. afar. Right. Right. So yes. Yeah. So I'm gonna love everyone. Yeah. And and this and you're gonna you're gonna feel it. You're gonna know yeah. it. Mm -hmm. But I don't have to like you. Yeah. Right. And then sometimes I believe that we have to teach people how to love us because they don't know how to love. When a person don't know how to love. Um, for a case in point, I was in a uh, relationship, and then the guy, my family, we hug. Mm -hmm. When we see each other, we hug yes. each other. We hug each other. Even the guys hug each other, you yeah. know, kiss on the cheek, you know, that, you know, hey, 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 you know hug. Yeah. So when he was like, what y'all doing all this hugging for? I said, y'all don't hug in your family? No, we don't hug. My mom never hugged me. Oh, I see why mm -hmm. you're the way you are. And I didn't tell him that. That's yeah. what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to get hit. But anyway. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. And so I said, I see why you the way you are because you never experienced love mm -hmm. from a parent. You know, only time your mother touched you probably is when she changed your diaper and had mm -hmm. to feed you, mm -hmm. but not cuddle you and hug yeah. you and say, "Oh, you did good, you did yeah. well." Oh, I love you. Let's do this. You know, my mom was a very nurturing woman. You know, she showed us love, and she was our biggest cheerleader. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if anything was body was messing with Kay uh, or her kids, uh, who did what? Okay, give me the phone number. Okay, I'm coming to Houston. And she has. She's been to Houston and she has handled some situations for me. And I just love, I love it. it. And I said, now it's like my mom's gone. I'm like, now we're going to take care of my problems. Right, so, right. And then the Lord said, I took her away because I need you That's to grow right. up. I said, dang, Jesus, right. you got to do me like that? Yeah. So it's. it's <laughs> Just like that. Yeah. So the next word is fear. I want you to fear. 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 When you think of the word fear. Bondage. Mm. Mm. Everybody said mm. Fear is, to me, is being in bondage. Yeah. And one thing that I vow mm -hmm. once God set me free mm -hmm. is to never go back into bondage. That's yeah. good. I like that. And so whenever something may come my way and I and that hit me like a mm -hmm. and there's you know, he don't give us a spirit of fear. Right, yeah. right. But if I'm in bondage, mm -hmm. that means I'm fearful of whatever that yeah. is. So I have to make sure that I don't allow that to come into mm -hmm. my space. Mm -hmm. Because one thing I'm not going to do is be in bondage. Mm -hmm. So fear cannot come upon me at all. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's good. Amen. So what about fear? you? Oh boy, fears. Uh, um, I had a huge fear <laughs> of becoming who God said I was. Mm -hmm. I had a huge fear of that. Okay. Um, because, well, now I know, now that I'm maturing in Christ and He shows us things. <laughs> I had a huge fear because there was always a hedge of protection around me. Mm -hmm. My entire life, brother, sister, mm -hmm. mommy, daddy. Mm -hmm. I never wanted for anything. I never feared for anything. Mm -hmm. I never, um, until they were gone. Mm -hmm. And then the fear 
of wow, who's gonna take care of me? Who's gonna, you know, like like you kind of mm -hmm. said. Um, I remember when once my dad died. Um, that's a whole nother testimony, but I feel I've I've I felt like oh God, you're not gonna take my mom because mm -hmm. you've already took my dad, so I know right. you're not gonna right. do this to me. That entitlement. Exactly. <laughs> That entitlement. Mm -hmm. Oh, but he did. He yes. did. He that took was a my mom. It yeah. was a shocker. Mm -hmm. It was. And um, I went into all these different. Oh, Jesus. So that's a that's a whole nother podcast. But uh, <laughs> it is. It it really is. Um, but like I said, a fear mm -hmm. um, came upon me that oh my God, I have to man up. I have to be who God says I am now because it was no longer mommy there to hold mm -hmm. me up. I right. couldn't call and say, mom, pray for me. Mom, mm -hmm. I need this. Mom, I need that. Right. And I feared that. Right. I, I, I did. I, I feared not being the woman she was mm -hmm. and not even knowing that the woman that my mom was, it took her 60 years to get there. Right. You right. know? Right. Um, I, I I feared people. Oh my god! Oh god! That's another podcast. <laughs> but um, fear fear is oh god. And and the only thing that can take it away mm -hmm. is the fear of the Lord. Mm -hmm. That's yes. the only thing that right. takes it away. Right. The yes. fear mm -hmm. of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Now I have a fear of what God will do to me if I don't, don't. become okay. who he's called me to be. Exactly. Right. Right. Exactly. So right. now I have to keep that fear under control mm -hmm. and um, like I said, just, just keeping myself humble, asking mm -hmm. God to, to continue to um, fill me with his gifts mm -hmm. and one of his gifts people don't know is the fear of him. Mm -hmm. You can't fear God if you don't have the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Come on then. So, um, yeah, that's what that's what fear is, mm -hmm. and uh, and like Dr. Clara said, God hasn't given us a spirit of fear, that's but right. of love, mm -hmm. power, and a sound mind. Mm -hmm. So, that's good. I was listening to you when you was saying in reference to your mom when she passed. Mm -hmm. I felt that because when my mother passed, uh, uh, the night before she passed, when we were on the phone, mm -hmm. and and I knew because she kept saying, honey baby, that's my nickname, honey baby, I love you big, big, big. She said it like five times or more. And she would say, say certain things to me. It's like she wanted me to do this and she, you know, just encouraging me in certain things. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I was sick, then you got sick. Mm -hmm. And you died three, three, three weeks mm -hmm. later. Mm -hmm. We had this bond mm -hmm. and Whenever I mean, we talk every day, several times a day. So it was in my mind, it's like, who's gonna help me get over what I'm still going yeah. through? Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm and yeah. I'm still trying to get my divorce because I'm going through the divorce finally, and it's been over two years because he's still fighting it. So right. it's like right. my mother was that sounding board yeah. for me. So it was like, yeah, yeah. So I feel you on that when it comes to mom. It's oh like, yeah, yeah. 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 When it comes to our parents, I don't know. I'm, I'm, maybe I shouldn't say this, but I'm gonna say for me, especially your mom. Oh yeah. It's yeah. it's like a it's like a part of you have just been chipped it away. Is. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It, it it really has Thank because you. for fear for me would be um, success. I'm just gonna be real. Okay. Be real. Success is is fear from for me. Um, I've seen myself become successful and then I sabotage myself. Yeah. And so I shut it down. Uh -huh. Why do we always do that? I, because of fear. Yeah. <laughs> we fear but, 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 of being but what successful. Is the fear? It's a fear. What is the deep fear? The deep, I don't know. Is it becoming successful? Um, it, I don't know. I really can't answer that question. It's just that I don't, like, you, you pray, Lord, help me to grow, uh -huh. help me to succeed. When he allows you or either get you where he wants you to be almost yeah. there, then and all of a sudden you see it. Oh, yeah. forget it, Jesus. Yeah. I ain't doing it all. Yeah. Oh, forget yeah. it. Time yeah. out, you know. So it's, it's my fear at that time was success. So I had to grow up because I don't think I was ready at that time. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was seeing success, I wasn't ready. Um, we had a, um, 
a ministry called Warriors for Christ. Mm -hmm. And it was a, um, a prayer and deliverance ministry. And we started with just women only. And then men started coming. And then the men were saying, well, if you change the name, more men will show up. I said, oh, okay, let me pray about it. So we took off the woman and put uh, Warriors for Christ. Uh -huh. okay. And so then, so then we started in Houston. And then we kept having these conferences and Galveston and so we started with like 50 some people and it zoomed all the way up within less than three four years mm. of four or five hundred people mm. attending awesome. at one time awesome. and it was all ethnicities it was yeah. diverse uh, yeah. people coming and I said oh my god oh my god there's just too many people here I, oh my god yeah. I can't take this Lord yeah. there's just too many people I said oh my god these people gotta go I can't do it I said this is it this is the final day I mean, we're doing this yeah. no more this is it final Turn I'm, out. Yeah. I'm serious yeah. and so people were coming People get delivered. People getting healed. I mean, we were seeing all kinds of things happening mm -hmm. at the time, and I just thought, oh, I can't take this anymore. Oh, geez, no, no, this is wow. this is not right. Wow. And I kept saying, this is not God. Wow. You know, but it was. It was. But I was scared. But you just didn't know yeah. Right. Yeah. It, I couldn't handle it. it, and it was just overwhelming for me. You know. And then everybody said, when are we gonna do this again? I said, oh, we ain't doing this year. <laughs> you know. Wow. And I kept cutting it down. So my fear is success yeah. wow. and being successful. But now I'm no longer there. Praise God. Because I have to grow up yeah. from that point. As I said earlier, I wasn't ready. He allowed me to see the success, and people were flying in and coming mm -hmm. to these conferences that we were having. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't no YouTube or Facebook at that time. We were just word of mouth flyers, word of mouth flyers, and people just knowing who Warriors for Christ was doing, and people were just coming, coming, coming. And and I was just like, oh my God, is, is this? That's, that's, this? Um, you know. I can relate to that. You know, I can relate. So to now that. I'm good. But you said, you, you <laughs> said something very important that I hope someone hears. Uh -huh. He had to show you. Yes. 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 So that you, you, you can see, yes. I can have this. Right. Yeah. Right. So that he right. can help you walk through that. Exactly. Thing. So that as he take you back yes. through it, yeah. you're okay yes. to welcome it. Right. With no problem, right, yeah. right, right, and then also manage, um, be able to work with people that's a part of the team mm -hmm. as well. So uh, sometimes you might have people on your team that will try to sabotage what you're doing as well. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, so that I have to grow in that area yeah. um, because we're all human, yeah. right? So we cannot be spiritual twenty four seven. We're human, yeah. and so um, um, sometimes we react a yeah. certain way. Mm -hmm. But I've learned that I've grown up because yeah. I did not react. Mm -hmm. I said, Father, this is your battle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is no longer mine. You need to fight that yeah. one. Because while I'm focusing on the issue, mm -hmm. I'm taking away from the time that I could be doing things that he's called right. me to do. That's right. Right. And that's what happens, that's right. you know. So, okay. And I think that's, I was just going to say, I think that's what we have to do. We have to learn to give our distractions over to God. Yes, yes. Um, and I can say... Yeah. I relate to that because mm -hmm. I'm there right now, okay. Cheryl. That's why I, that's, I, I'm actually, being here today mm -hmm. is fighting through okay. my fear, okay. Okay? Okay. okay? It's fighting through my fear because, like I said, I I fear, well, I I go back and forth. Mm -hmm. I, it's a fight. Right. It's a fight, it's like a fight. you said. It's a fight. Um, but the fact that we're in the fight, it, it shows that, that, that we trust God. Mm -hmm. We trust God mm -hmm. more than what... Yes. What our what yes. our physical bodies or yes. what our minds are mm -hmm. telling us because I fear success too mm -hmm. and and it goes into what I said mm -hmm. fearing what God says you are right you right. are you were mm -hmm. you are that person mm -hmm. that the one that was bringing all those people to Christ mm -hmm. that is you mm -hmm. that was you mm -hmm. you know uh, but when you when you got there it's like oh my God like. Mm -hmm. you, sh you started to shrink mm -hmm. right. and I do that a lot mm -hmm. I, do, I do it a lot yes. but I also fight a lot mm -hmm. but what I will say is I'm starting to um, look at my growth more right because a lot of times I look at me I'm like who are you like you know mm -hmm. and, but when I look at the growth it's like there is God mm -hmm. God is in the growth so I right. have to celebrate the growth mm -hmm. I have to celebrate where God is taking me mm -hmm. and I just have to remember to stay in the fight yeah. you right. stay, stay in the fight thing. Yes, stay that's in the him. thing mm -hmm. uh, because a lot of times with me I will bow down I will say I, I don't want this because mm -hmm. honestly I'm a homebody mm -hmm. I'm a, a 
my mom was a stay at home mom. Mm -hmm. You know, I watched my mom work day in and out in the mm -hmm. in the home. Mm -hmm. So honestly, that's all I knew right, until right. I got married and my, my mother-in-law was not a stay at home mom. She was a single mom. Okay. Everything that my mom was, my mother-in-law was not, was you know, right. she had to go and get it, mm -hmm. you know? So I was like, well, which is it? Do you right. stay at home or do you go get it? <laughs> you know? right. And I had the best of both worlds. Right, right, right. Right. So I felt like that was God showing me that it's okay to go and get it. Right. Right. You know? Right. So right. now I do, I do, like I said, I, it's a fight mm -hmm. where it's like, do I stay at home or do I go out and get it? Right. But now it's just asking God, help me balance mm -hmm. being at home with my children when I'm here, being fully right. present with right. them. Because I do homeschool mm -hmm. my girls. Um, we have a 17 year old son too, but we homeschool the girls and, but we're also running a church. Mm -hmm. I'm running a foundation. Mm -hmm. I am ministering to people. Mm -hmm. I am mm -hmm. like, I have to be present to so many people. Right, right, right. And sometimes mm -hmm. it's like, God, this is a lot. Mm -hmm. And then I start to change. Mm -hmm. I'm like, this mm -hmm. is too much for me. Mm -hmm. But like you were telling Rita earlier, mm -hmm. you have to learn how to prioritize. Right, right. exactly. Right. exactly. And listen you to have God. To, you yes. have, and let, and let yes. him filter mm -hmm. when you're supposed to be going out to get it. Right. When you're supposed the to be at home. home. Mm -hmm. And same thing with you. Mm -hmm. This success here, mm -hmm. you're supposed to be here. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be a time where I want you right, right here, exactly, and that's where I am right now. Mm -hmm. Learning that balance, right. God, let me hear you. Mm -hmm. What are you telling me to do? Right, you know. Yes. So that's about right. like that's good. Uh, I wouldn't accept my call to preach. Mm -hmm. I refused to, mm -hmm. refused to. So I ended up becoming a part of a praise team with the women at mm -hmm. church. So praise dancer. So I became a praise dancer with like seven other ladies. Mm -hmm. And we ended up going to Augusta, Georgia to a uh, praise dance symposium. Mm -hmm. And mind you, so I'm going back and forth with God, mm -hmm. saying, no, I'm mm -hmm. not going to accept this call. Mm -hmm. We got back from that symposium on that Sunday. Right. That Monday morning, I woke up with an uneasy feeling. Mm -hmm. Ended up going to the doctor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he, uh, I had just had a complete, so I was okay. So he was like, what you doing here, girl? Mm -hmm. You, what's, what's, what's wrong with you? And I, so I said, I have an uneasy feeling. So he said, Barbara, uh, give Ms. Peters a uh, EKG. Mm -hmm. And then when he read the EKG, he said, oh, call the ambulance, she's checking out of here. Mm -hmm. So I'm in the hospital for two and a half weeks, so God is talking to me, talking to me, wow. talking to me, talking to me. And I was like, I would be obedient for now on. Yeah. He didn't tell me to praise things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't That's accept right. my call. That's right. That's right. And I was like, Yo, he'll get you yes, to say he yes. Will. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> he will he'll get, get you. He'll get he you will get you. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. I know for me, um, you say accepting your calling is that um, it took it took me some time to say yes to God, mm -hmm. and I felt like. Um, I was like tossing with the spirit. Like we was like really in the boxing ring. We were boxing. Mm -hmm. I said, I ain't gonna say yes. Nah, get out of here, Lord. <laughs> nah, Lord, get out of the way. Get away from me, Jesus. What's oh, wrong with you, Lord? Get out okay, of here. Okay. And I was fighting. I was oh. in my bedroom. Fuss. I was fighting. Yeah. And I yeah. felt myself fighting with the spirit. Ah, get out of here, you know. And then so I felt. I mean, I was all over the room crying and snotting. Oh, no, I want to do that. So I found myself face down on the floor and I just cried out and I said, yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. And I said, I'll do it. And then um, ever since then, um, he was, he's was he been putting me on when I first started, like these, I call them prayer fasts. Mm -hmm. And to me, a prayer fast is that I don't eat anything. But no, I do eat, but not that much, but I'm spending more time praying. Praise. It's constantly praying, praying, praying. I pray so hard, a bill collector called me Okay. <laughs> I'm not telling y'all to do this, but that's what happened to me. I called the bill and she ended up Miss Weber. I know Miss Weber. She's from New Jersey, from New York. And we became friends. A bill collector, right? We became friends. Girl, I just called to check on and see how you're doing. I said, I'm doing good, Miss Weber. And she said, Have you been sleeping yet? Miss Weber, I can't sleep. I've been praying so much. She said, Well, girl, you need to get you some rest. She said, When you coming to New York, I need you to come to Jersey so I can cook you some food. I said, Girl, give me your address. I mean, we became good friends, right? And then finally, one day Miss Weber called me, and she caught me in the mood when I was praying. Uh -huh. 
And I called her. She said, hold on. I said, hold on, Miss Webber. I said, hallelujah. <laughs> I started speaking in tongues. She said, um, your bill has been canceled. <laughs> I said, okay, Miss Webber, I'll call you back. <laughs> so I promise you, that bill was canceled. She canceled my whole bill. She said, it is done. Wow. You are you are canceled. Wow. Don't worry about that bill. Wow. And I said, Lord wow. Jesus. I said, well, did I do this quick? I canceled a bill. But it was all good. So my mom was like, you need to take you some tea. You need to relax. I said, Mom, I can't stop praying. It was like, it was on me yeah. so heavy. So, you know, um, I'm glad you guys mentioned that. I just have to throw that in there. So the next one and the last one, or maybe next to the last one, is abuse. 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 Someone trying to take away your power of being you. Trying to take your life mm -hmm. and manage your life the way they want it to be. Um, not just in reference to relationship, but in every area of your life, there's certain type of abuse. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's not allowing someone to take the power of your life, mm -hmm. of whatever it is that they trying to to put you in a box mm -hmm. in and abuse you behind. Because you know there's work abuse, there's uh, physical abuse, mental. You know that's spirit. That's all different mm -hmm. types of abuse. Mm -hmm. You being abused at work, the church. Yeah. That's church abuse. I was mm -hmm. just. About you know, so there's so, yeah. there's so much. So, so I, much. I can go on and on in reference to that wow. word alone. Period. Mm -hmm. There's abuse in eating. There's abuse in finances. There's abuse yes. in just being over zealous. Just yeah. you know. So it just that's such an open word. Yeah. Domestic and realize. domestic abuse mm -hmm. to me mm -hmm. because I was abused for almost two decades. Mm -hmm. You know, every type of domestic abuse I was. But one thing that I try to encourage the ladies in reference to they don't think they're being abused, mm -hmm. baby, if he's isolating you, mm -hmm. if he's controlling yeah. you. Mm -hmm. That's abuse. That's abuse. If he's yes. if he's um, financially uh, holding the purse yeah. over yeah. you, yes. that's yeah. abuse. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've heard yeah. stories how, you know, he will only give you like twenty dollars to go to the grocery store. What wow. can you get from the grocery Not store much. for twenty dollars? <laughs> wow. You know, so and I'm like, that's somebody that's trying to keep you, yeah. keep yeah. hold of you, yes. keep control over yeah. you. Mm -hmm. And your life become theirs. Oh you don't have a life. You have to answer to them. Oh my God. <laughs> that right there is like for me to be on the other side of it now oh and to think that I allow that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I remember when I had the first time uh, uh, I was interviewed and someone had asked me, you know, reference to been abused and whatever and what, what some of the steps I had to go through and I said I had to forgive me mm -hmm. for allowing them mm -hmm. to abuse me and they right. said how? Mm -hmm. I said the first time was on them mm -hmm. anytime after that mm -hmm. I stayed mm -hmm. so I allowed mm -hmm. so I had to forgive me mm -hmm. as I forgave him even though I left mm -hmm. but I still had to forgive him in order for me to move so people have to understand even in abuse, domestic violence, uh, that abuse, understand, is not of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And right now, it's happening more so, especially for the pa pandemic. Yes, yes, they yes. have to understand. It has tripled. Yes. If, yes. He may say he loved you. Mm -hmm. But again, if there's isolation, there's control. Mm -hmm. If he's keeping time, because mm -hmm. I can go somewhere and I'm not back at a certain time, mm -hmm. I can walk through that door and get punched in my face. That's abuse. Yes, it is. There's no way to live. And then it's like a fear. I'm gonna go back to the word fear. Right. When you've been abused, mm -hmm. fear comes into, well, am I doing it right? Am I right. doing what he right. does, yeah. you know, exactly. want me yeah. to do? Exactly. Uh, fearful of knowing, okay, well, if I do this, he may, not, you know, it's like, okay, well, what am I gonna do? You know, make yeah. sure I don't make yeah. him mad. But then I had to realize it's not what was yeah. I was doing to make him mad. It was him, it was him. whatever he yeah, was, was enduring him. on yeah. that day. Mm -hmm. yeah. He could get mad at them people on the job mm -hmm. 
and come home and take it out on me. Right, right. He could get mad with a family member and take it on one of his friends and come and take it out on me. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Man. So, men or women need to understand that word abuse. Mm -hmm. Don't live in it. Yes. Don't be around yes. it. Mm -hmm. If you know somebody that's yes. dealing with it, mm -hmm. help them and say, look, mm -hmm. You can do yeah. better than this. Yeah. But see, that goes back to love. Yeah. You know, knowing what authentic love is. That's you know what I'm saying? So we talked about fear. We talked about love. That goes into yeah. abuse, right? So, you you know, fear is something that, would, like you said, controlling, narcissistic mm -hmm. behavior. Right, right. And then the next thing is, is love. Knowing how to love yourself. Not only that is that can you truly love someone else? You know, right. if you know what your past is, are you ready to love someone else? You know, when it comes to relationship and abuse, you know. And that's why you yeah. have to do the healing on you first. Yes. Right? yes. Before you can yes. open the door and allow somebody yes. else to come exactly. and love you. Exactly. And for you to know mm -hmm. if that's love. Right. right. And right. I've experienced that and love. it takes time. Yeah. Yes. Takes I wasn't time. even in a relationship with this person, but I experienced that love mm -hmm. um, because of his actions towards me. Mm -hmm. And how he was there, and I didn't even know he knew some of the stuff that was going on in my life. And he showed up. I was like, hey. you know. Mm -hmm. But the love was so present and so open, and it's like people was like, "Y'all not together?" I'm like, "No, we're not a couple." <laughs> <laughs> you know, but yeah. Okay. That's good. So wow. Um, a, a couple words that I heard. <laughs> Um, you know, that really stands out to me is really control mm -hmm. and domineering mm -hmm. and dominate and that takes me mm -hmm. to demonic. <laughs> you know, <laughs> demonic. Those mm -hmm. are all things because that's what the devil does. That okay. that's his um that's his tactic. He wants to dominate. Right. Wherever he mm -hmm. is, whatever space mm -hmm. he wants that space mm -hmm. and that's what he does through those people that mm -hmm. are carrying out those mm -hmm. acts, you know. And I will say to anybody that is um, experiencing those things, mm -hmm. I, 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 I would just encourage them to get out yes. um, safely um, because mm -hmm. God, that is not a promise from God. That's not, and, and God has promises for us mm -hmm. all. Mm -hmm. I've been um, so, uh, how can I say, God has been speaking to me about his promises over goals because um, there, there's a lot that, that me and my husband were, were trying to do and trying to accomplish in the community and everything. And God was like, oh, you know, no, I, it's things that I've promised you. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to you know, it, 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 it's, it's not going to hurt to get them, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so being hit, being hurt, being controlled is not a promise. That's that's right. not in the Bible right. for right. you it's at not. all. It's not. Um, so I would encourage um, people who, who who's going through that mm -hmm. to, to just get out safely. And that's why it's important. That's why people's testimonies are mm -hmm. so important. So yes. Yes. Because yes. I, I will say, like, I've never experienced, um, um, you know, a physical attack mm -hmm. from someone mm -hmm. or, you know, but... Um, that's why women who have gone through that, mm -hmm. I, I love the fact that they can they can get past that fear mm -hmm. and tell people mm -hmm. that yes, I've been through this mm -hmm. and it's possible for you to get out. And it's possible not only for you to get out, but it's possible for you to find real love. Right, right. right. exactly. Right. It's it's exactly. possible for you to trust mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. You know? It is. So oh wow. That, there's hope. Yeah, there, there is, is hope. hope. There is hope. But there you know, there's a lot of women that um, don't want to get out. I can say don't want to get out. They want to get out. Uh -huh. But their biggest thing is, will I have someone to love me? Yeah. And and when I hear that, my thing is, mm -hmm. but don't you love yourself yeah, enough know. to say enough is enough? Mm -hmm. This is not what love yeah. is. If you equate, because some women do equate a man treating them wrong mm -hmm. as being loved, mm -hmm. and that's serious, yeah. mm -hmm. and that could be right. not just from that relationship, but it could also be from childhood, I from what they saw childhood. in childhood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, but it is. they have to get some counseling yeah. so that they can understand mm -hmm. 
This is not what God intended. That's right. This is not love. This is not unconditional love. This is not godly love. Yeah. And if you really truly love yourself, you wouldn't do this to yourself. Right. Then too, not only that, I had to, I'm gonna go back to me. And I had to realize enough was enough and I didn't yeah. want my children to see this anymore. Right. Yeah. Right. Wow. My oldest daughter, I have three children. Me and my ex-husband have three children. I always say mine. My <laughs> oldest daughter was grown by the time I said enough was enough. Mm -hmm. Then we had the youngest two in elementary and the, the baby girl was in sixth grade, I believe. Mm -hmm. I didn't want them to see no more. Because there was one blow that came, and the baby girl came and got in in between. Mm -hmm. And when he went there with her, I was like, oh, okay, it. it's yeah, time to, you know. It. So you just not thinking about you. Mm -hmm. You have to think about your children because you don't want your children enduring yeah. and going through that. Yeah. So abuse is like, it should not be an option for no one. It yeah. should not. It should not. And that's why I will say... Um, going back to the mm -hmm. word sisterhood, mm -hmm. um, a genuine sisterhood mm -hmm. is needed. Yes. Um, because somebody has to be on the lookout. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody has to be able to see the signs. Somebody mm -hmm. has to be able to um, discern. Somebody has to be able to use the Holy Spirit in in helping mm -hmm. the young lady. Right. You know, exactly. or coaching her out of that situation. Mm -hmm. You know, because sometimes those situations, they can get really ugly. Yes, they right. can. You know, um, they can get d fatal. They mm -hmm. can become mm -hmm. fatal. So those kind of things, you have to be really careful with. But like I said, if if a woman feels like she has a genuine sisterhood or mm -hmm. somebody that, yes. that she can depend on yes. seriously, right. because a lot of people stay in those situations because... Honestly, people will say they're there for them, mm -hmm. but when it comes time to come Ooh, out, there's nobody there, there that is for true. them. That is right. true. There's nobody there for them, and that's why I tell you all the time, mm -hmm. I love what you're doing. Thank I you. love it. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I pray for you all the time. You know that. I pray for you all the time, and anything you have, I'm there. What do you need? Where do you need me? Let, let's go. Um, because a lot of people don't have the support. Yeah, that is That's true. true. They That's don't true. have it. That's yeah. True. And then also, when you're talking about um, um, having a sisterhood and the love and what have you, is that they people who are going through a domestic abuse there should be a non-judgment zone yes you know yes. not judge the person say well well why did it take you so long to get out of it why you just didn't leave or why 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 we don't know why mm -hmm. only they know why so that when when you constantly ask a person why they didn't you make them feel worse than what they already is yeah. what they are and that's true and so it's better to just be there a sounding board for the person and say hey i'm here for you let me love on you. Let me give you the resources yeah. that you need. And when you're absolutely ready to go, yeah. call me or dial this number. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Exactly. Because we can't make people go when they need when we know they need to yeah. go. You know? Yeah. But we provide the resources and we provide what they need and just say, Hey, I'm here for yeah. you. If you need to yell, scream, holler, curse, or whatever, yeah, you know, right. curse too. Hey, you know, yeah. sometimes you just have to you yeah. Gotta, yeah. get yeah. it out, yeah. you know, because when he was whooping on you, he wasn't saying hallelujah, yeah, exactly. you know, yeah. he wasn't saying oh, praise yeah. the Lord, exactly. he was using some other words, you know, exactly. and so, so <laughs> it's just this is just real yeah. talk because if you've never experienced someone beating on you, trust me, I have, and but he was he was sneaky with his, I was asleep. And punched me in my face and my nose was bleeding. So um, I tried to run me over with a truck and all this other crazy stuff. But um, when I talked to my mother and she prayed with me and I woke up the next day. Thank God I did wake up the next day. Uh, I took a shower and I said, Father, you get me out of this one. I never go back. Wow. And so when he lost his job, he got laid off from laid off. The next thing is that happened is that he uh, said, hey, when the weeks and months passed by, you know, weeks passed by, he got a job in Detroit. He said, I got a job in Detroit. He, I was working at Baylor. And he said, hey, um, do we have the money so I could go for a job? I said, how much you need? He said, 800. Oh, we got it. <laughs> you know, we got the 800. And so I thought we didn't have them. I said, oh, I got a stash somewhere. Trust me, we got it. Because he's going to crack. So, you know, you can't keep all the money in bank when your man gets on crack, right? right? right. So you be poor house, you know, and yeah. I might be on crack one day, you know, with him, you know, trying, trying to make ends meet. Right, so right. anyway, 
Right. You know, this is real talk. You know, you try to pay your bills. I was like, you know, hey, we don't, you know. But uh, trust me, y'all, I'm not on crack. You try, look at me, I'm not on crack. And so, <laughs> and so I might be something else, but it's not crack. Not that. Right. Not that. <laughs> and so, so long story short, uh, he was out the door, and God answered my prayer, and he left, and I never looked back. Right. So you know, when when, when that window of, of escape comes, oh, yeah. take, take it. it. Oh. Don't wait, don't delay, mm -hmm. not just on abuse, any Anything, situation yeah. in your life. When God gives you that window of escape that you've been asking for, uh -huh. praying for, crying uh -huh. over, and he gives it to you, do not second guess it. Yeah. I want you to take it. Exactly. Exactly. So this is the end of our segment. I want to thank you guys for coming. Uh, thank you for having us. Shaquan. Shaquan. I know her, y'all. Shaquan. <laughs> Just get for that. Yeah. Yeah. Shaquana had not and Dr. Clara Peters. I am not good with names. I would change everybody's name if I had to. And then uh Miss Retha Jackson. Everyone, we just thank you guys for coming. Um also um look up career gear um on Facebook. I mean Facebook Live and on their website. Everybody, um, tell them your website, email address. My email address is wodd.2011 at yahoo.com. And you can reach me on Facebook at Dr. Clara L. Peters. Instagram, I am Clara L. Peters. And the name of your book? My book is Becoming the, uh, I'm sorry. My book is Removing the Mask <laughs> and Become the Authentic You. All right. And I love that. In the name of your organization? Um, the name of my organization is called Yes, I'm All That. Mm -hmm. And um, you can reach me at, on Facebook or Instagram at Shaquana Hadnot or Yes, I'm All That. Um, my email address is Shaquana Hadnot at Yes, I'm All That dot org. And I'll spell my name S H A K W A N N A. Had not H A D N O T T. All right. See, that's why I can't pronounce the name. Yeah. So, <laughs> and then, so we'll have everyone's information on our YouTube page. And so, please support these young ladies. Um, look up their email, their, I mean, their website, their Facebook page. Um, just uh, connect with them. They, they're doing a lot of great things in the community. And so, uh, again, thank you for tuning in. We want you to share, notify, thumbs up, comment, and like. And like. I think I got I it all. Subscribe. And subscribe. And subscribe. Oh, yeah, do we have another one? Okay, and subscribe <laughs> to, uh, to our site. Thank you so much. And don't forget, I know, right? Don't forget our book, cookbook. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you.